really, I, I realized long ago that it is not enough to cover the optic nerve pit with the eye lamp flap. So um, I started to um, put the flap or the eye lamp inside the optic pit uh, maybe one year ago. And to, do, to prepare enough um, flap, I started away from the optic disc and I peeled the eye lamp um, away from the optic pit and over the uh, maculum. While doing this, you have to be tangential and very slow in order to avoid um, creating iatrogenic injury to the macula, and again, increasing the um, size of the flap until it, it is placed inside the, um, the optic pit. In order to place it accurately inside the optic pit, Sometimes I um, inject PFCL. You can see that it is a big um, optic pit. PFCL is injected away from the optic uh, disc and leaving the bubble increasing. And with the use of this tissue manipulator, I start to put the eye lamp inside the pit. This is the preoperative, and one month after the postoperative, um, postoperatively, there is marked decrease in the amount of the fluid. The eye lamp flap is inside, and then if you look one year after, the flap is inside the optic pit and the macula is attached. This is another case where you can fashion the flap not with a faucet but with a tennis scraper and in this case you have a big eye lamp flap in one piece and again it is stuffed into the optic pit. This is the preoperative and um, maybe two months after but usually it takes about um, 8 to 12 months to, uh, for the fluid to absorb. So covering the optic disc pit is, and stuffing the ILM flap into the pit is a reliable method for intercepting fluid from the vitreous cavity. And the rapid absorption, and by rapid it doesn't mean one month or two months, usually from 8 to 12 months um, for the macula to become attached. Thank you for your attention.